Hello. Hello. Hi, good How evening. You? I'm doing hey, fine. What about you? How are you today? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Ready for the weekend or you work on weekend? Weekend. You have to work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but Algo cansado, sí. Oh, you're tired. Está, está también story. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. But yes, I'm going to sleep late tomorrow. So I'm okay. Thank you for asking. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Saturday is Monday, but it's yeah. yeah, Monday, like new. <laughs> Los otros veces, cuando hay turno, llegamos todo el día, sábado y domingo. Pero cuando no hay, esperamos la otra semana, hasta las 12 trabajamos. Man. Ok, so there is one week you work in weekends, and the next in, one you rest. In weekends, they dress. Uh, why turn in, in terramen? Entrenamiento. Training. Ah, training. 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 Uh, training. 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 Okay. All right. So I just see four people connected. I guess it is yes. because it's Friday, maybe. So we're going to start with the program and I'm going to check attendance a little bit later than usual, hoping that the rest can join the meeting. In the meantime, we're going to continue. So I shared the presentation for today's class. And we're going to start with some vocabulary. Uh, this is in the material as well in the page 26. And also I have it here in the PowerPoint presentation and we have to, to match. You can do it in, in case that if you have the material printed, you can look at it on page 26 
and do the matching exercise. If not, if you have not printed it, uh, you can maybe um, work in the notebook. So we have the, the words. The first word is work schedule, break, shift, Wait. over Wait. time, over and time. Call, call in. in. Call in. Call in. Call in. Call in. Call in. Excellent. And then we have the definitions in the other side. The first one is already done for you as an example. So we have work schedule, a chart that presents list of employees, the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Belen. Good evening. How are you? Feeling better, teacher. Feeling most better. Okay. Better, better, sorry. That's nice. So I'll give you time for you to analyze and um, think what is the, the, the match with the word and the correct definition. Oh, every day. And what did this say? Oh, thanks. Hello, George. I'm weak. I got twice after that was the bucket ditch. We just got to the night to pre-day. Okay, who would like to know the meaning of break, the definition for break? Teacher is for me as in a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. 
Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much, Valen. Somebody um, for the definition of shift. The time of the day when the person works. That is correct. The time of the day when a person works. Now, overtime. Overtime. When you work a more time, that regularly. Working regular. Works regular. Working. Horse a day or weekend. A week. A week. A yes, week, that is correct. Thank you so much, Juan. That is the correct definition. Now, call in. Anybody else for call in? To telephone your work workplace yeah. to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. That is correct. Thank you so much. So this is the vocabulary for this. Um, and we're going to look at this schedule and answer the questions we have here and answer this. Uh, we have the chart and this is on as well on page 26 and you can check there. So we have uh, Laura, Thomas, Sofia, Carlos, and then the days of the week and the activities or the time schedules that they have at the workplace. So we're going to analyze this schedule and answer the questions that we have here. Number one, who is in charge of purchasing food from month, from Tuesday to Friday? It is that's on Tuesday. I suppose that they rest on Monday and probably Sunday. Where is the dishwasher day off? When is the dishwasher day off? How when long is Thomas break? Oh. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? And what is the meaning of purchasing? Uh, purchasing uh, compras. ¿Quién está a cargo de las compras? Uh -huh. Belen. Belen. <laughs> what is uh, Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? When is Carlos on training? And what is his schedule on Friday? So we're going to answer these questions by checking the answers would be here in the schedule. I'm going to give you some time for you to answer. You can use your notebooks, or if you pin printed the material, it is on page 26.
teacher, compañero Francisco Godínez dice que no va a poder estar en la clase, que le pueda poner ahí, porque ahorita tiene un problema tubería en la casa. Thank you, Juan. Thank you for letting me know. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, a uh, volunteer to answer the first question. Read the question and your answer. Let's see volunteers. Or you haven't finished? No finish, teacher. Faltan tres. Okay.
Teacher. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, and I think Moises have the same question. You already passed attendance. No, because only four were at the beginning. <laughs> so, ah, yes, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to after this exercise. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Uh, it's only answer the question in uh, in base uh, a discussion. Yes. That's you all. Finished. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you read the question number one in the answer? Okay. Who's in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday? Is Laura. Laura, the kitchen manager. The kitchen manager. Okay, nice. Uh, yes, that is correct. Thank you so much for okay. your answer. A uh, volunteer for number two. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the second. One. When is the dishwasher day off? Uh, uh, tomorrow's day off as in Wednesday. That is correct. Thank you so much. A uh, volunteer for number three. You. How long a uh, Thomas break? Banter, banter, banter. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay, Noemi, number four. Yes. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? And when is her vacation? Sophia is the bartender and the vacation, her vacation is Friday 8 and Saturday 9 of September. Excellent. Thank you so much. That is correct, Naomi. Thank you. Uh, volunteer for number five. Andrea, thank you. When is when is Carlos Carlos on training? What is his schedule on Fridays? Carlos is training on Tuesday. On Friday, he is server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your participation and answers. I'm going to check attendance. So let's uh, say present as soon as you hear your names. Today is 20. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen René Calderón. Carmen René Calderón. Delmi Guadalupe. Delmi Guadalupe. Francisco Nehemías. Helen Dionelli. Present Thank you, Helen. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. 
Maricela del Carmen Velázquez. Moises Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemi. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you, Rubén. Stephanie is not here. Judy Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Judy. Uh, Jose Rudy Acevedo. Jose Rudy. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Thank you. María Angélica Godínez. Present. Imelda Elizabeth. Imelda Elizabeth. Y Susana. Okay, now let's continue here in this conversation and in this section is um, the objective is I will be able to provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. Uh, we have this conversation. Um, I think it's not so difficult, I think. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like more sufficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation for this? Teacher, uh, uh, what is the meaning of com complaining? Quejándose. El okay. staff siempre se está quejando. Thank you. And the other other word is, I bet in, I bet it saves. Es como decir apuesto. Apuesto de apostar, ¿verdad? Mm, okay. Apuesto a que eso salva tiempo, ahorra tiempo. Any other question? Okay, I'll get you into the breakout room so that you can practice this conversation. Remember that this is on Is your sure. material on page 27. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Kenia Ruiz le mandó otro mensaje que se siente mal que no va a poder estar en clase. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let me create the rooms.
Volunteers to role play, you can raise your hand. Okay, we have some here. Let's start with uh, Juan Ricardo and Carlos Mario. Y los demás ahí dejen la manita y vamos a ir pasando. Juan Ricardo, Carlos Mario. Yes. Okay. Dale, don Carlos. Bueno. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use only service. I tie tie stuff. Can you tell children from their phones? That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet. Perdón, Juan Ricardo Menedemo, no era su manita la que estaba levantada, era Juan Ricardo Alvarenga y Carlos Mario. Pueden empezar otra vez. Perdón, teacher. <risa> ok. Dele, dele, ok. ¿Con quién? ¿Conmigo o con, con Alas? Es que no veo su manita levantada, Juan Ricardo. Si gusta, lo dejamos despuesito. Ahorita Juan Ricardo Alvarenga iría con... Con Mario, Gracias. Carlos Mario. Gracias. Hello. Would you like to start? Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and, and on time. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. Now we have Maricela and Moises. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an only service so that the staff can see their schedule for, from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized in no time. Okay. Okay, very good. Remember, this one is online online. Thank you so much. You did a very nice job. Now let's listen to, I have the hands here. Tengo las manitas de Maria Angelica and Judy. Okay. okay. Uh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that that staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay, excellent. Excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, we have Carmen Rene and Belen. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saved a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Excellent. Excellent job. Thank you so much, ladies. And... Uh, Ya no tengo manitas levantadas. Juan Ricardo Menedemo está por ahí. Creo que en participantes yes. sale la opción de los de la manita, Juan Ricardo, donde hay tres puntitos. Puede que diga raise hand o levantar la mano. Excellent. Ahí está. Very good. Ahora, ¿quién quiere practicar con Juan Ricardo? Mi Necesito teacher. Otro. Ok, thank you so much. Maricela, mm -hmm. empiece. 
Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use the only service online. online service. So I their staff can choose their children from schedule. Como? Schedules. Schedule. Está mejor. Schedules. From their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yeah, it's the best way. A top way. A you stop organized and on time. Organized. Organized. And, and on time. On time. Very good. Thank you so much, Juan Ricardo Maricela. You did it very good. Thank you. So let's see here. As you can see, the most efficient, the best way. So what are they? What comes to your mind that's going to be the topic about? Superlatives. Yes, exactly. So in the previous lessons, we studied comparatives and now we're going to uh, study superlatives. Vamos a ver superlativos. Uh, now, but before that, we're going to answer this question. How does your company organize a schedule? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstuffing or understaffing? Y luego el ejercicio 4 se completa con frases eh, de la conversación. I'll give you some time for you to complete that. Answer the questions and in number four, complete the phrases from the conversation.
I see that some of you have already finished and are sharing the answers. Very good job. So a uh, volunteer for the number one. How does your company organize the schedules? No, I me. Thank you. A company um, is the administ administrator organizes schedule. Okay, thank you so much. Anybody else? Alguien más para la uno? In my, my case, my, my boss time. organized the with my supervisor. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Juan Ricardo? My staff, why? Your staff, okay, very good. Thank you so much. And number two, uh, in your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Noemi? <laughs> Any volunteer? Nobody has a number two. No, me, thank you. Sí. In my opinion, the best efficient way or is a keep is keep to daily check of the staff. All oh, right, daily check of the staff. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Juan Ricardo. I'm sorry, but I have a question. Um, just a parent, par, parenthesis, parent, parenthesis, parenthesis, uh, parenthesis. Um, I tried to know, use the translator, so I don't know how to say, I don't know the meaning on overstuffing and understuffing. Um, uh, so you know that staff, is the group of people that works yeah. in a place. Okay, so when it says overstaffing is that there is too much people working, okay? And okay. understaffing is like be short, short staff. Okay, in that case, I have my answer to that question, in my, in my opinion. The most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understuffing, it's maybe half, half and a half. Uh, for example, you have, uh, in my case, in my work, um, one of the ideas that they have, that, that they had was that in the first place, um, home office, for example, and then health, home office and house and site on site so maybe that could be a, a very interesting way to handle it the overstaffing because um obviously all we want to say together and obviously we want to see each other but uh, the home office is like something that very Hopefully, in some cases, in, in from my for in my opinion, it will be better the home office. But in my opinion, <laughs> but uh -huh, I think it have a benefits and and I don't know how to say like it, uh, so it like has this. advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. And disadvantages, correct? Yes, of course. So some, um, that's nice. Thank you so much. It's a very interesting point of view. And yes, yeah, so maybe working in the office, uh, well, 
they prefer that because they have control of everybody, what they're doing, what are they doing. And in office, uh, home office, sometimes we go to the kitchen and we lose calls. <laughs> we miss calls because we are doing some other things, right? So I think that in some cases it's not really convenient, but it can work in some other cases as well. But nice, thank you so much. Now in the number one, exercise four, did you complete that one? Uh, it, um, Thai second line, Thai most efficient is... Way, uh-huh, that sounds yeah. like the most way. efficient way. Way. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much, Juan Ricardo. Anybody else for the number two? Yes. It's just two. Who has a number two? The best. It is? The best. Ah, the best. The best Why way to keep, to keep you keep your stuff organized, 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 pardon, and on, on time. time. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much, Juan Ricardo. Thank you for trying. And yes, your answers are correct. Thank you so much. Now, as uh, we know, uh, we studied the um, comparatives a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to go now with the superlatives. Remember that uh, superlatives, we are, um, when we make comparisons, we said we compare two things, okay? We can compare two things, or we can compare two, um, pueden ser que comparemos cosas, personas, pero será entre dos. Pero un superlativo, se hemos dicho, es en un grupo. De un grupo, ¿cuál es el mejor? For example, if I want to compare um, cell phone brands, we have uh, Huawei, iPhone, Samsung, uh, Xiaomi. For me, Samsung is the best. ¿Ok? So el superlativo es, es eso, el mejor dentro de una categoría, el máximo, right? So, en, en un grupo, no, neces, no es de dos, es entre más. Entonces, para eso se usan los superlativos. Y aquí están las reglas para formar los superlativos. Adjetivos. Sabemos que para, eh, si, tanto para comparar o para hacer un superlativo, utilizamos adjetivos. ¿Qué son los adjetivos? Los adjetivos son los que describe a una cosa, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir eh, botella, pero botella es como una palabra muy, eh, no le fija una imagen precisa en su mente, right? So es muy like general. ¿Qué hace especial a esa botella? Puede ser un adjetivo, puedo decir a uh, big, ok, entonces ya me empiezo a formar una mejor imagen más clara de esa botella, digo a uh, big, big sería el adjetivo, pink, también es un adjetivo, los adjetivos pueden ser colores también, todo lo que describa, so you can say a big pink bottle. And you have a better idea of what are we talking about. So para eso, esos son los adjetivos. Ahora, si es un adjetivo de una sílaba, hay que agregar el artículo de y luego el, 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 el adjetivo y agregar est o Solamente ST. Va a depender, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el adjetivo cold. Cold. Si yo quiero decir cold. el más frío, tengo que agregar el artículo de the coldest. De el artículo. Aquí está el adjetivo. Que es cold. Y le agregamos the EST, the coldest. Uh, y tenemos una oración utilizando January is often the coldest winter winter month, ok, son 12 meses y desde esos 12, enero es el más frío, ok, so January is often the coldest winter month, 
si ya el adjetivo termina sí, en sí. e, hola. Sí, si yo digo, she does golden, she are golden, no hay. Escríbamelo, José, para tener una mejor uh, idea. No, no de le, de, del ejemplo que estaba dando ahorita, güey. She, that. January. Ajá, uh, January. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué pasó con el ejemplo? No, de, no dice ellas. No, 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 dice enero, el primer ejemplo. Ahorita voy por ahí. Ah, no. Ok. Eh, ok, entonces el adjetivo cold, vieron lo que hicimos para hacer el superlativo, le agregamos el artículo de, luego el adjetivo que es cold y le agregamos est y nos queda al final the coldest. Ahora el adjetivo nice eh, termina en e. Entonces a ese solo vamos a poner al principio el artículo. Luego el adjetivo nice y solo le vamos a agregar la ST al final. No vamos a agregar otra. Esto es solo en, en otros casos que no termina en E. So, tenemos el ejemplo aquí. She's the nicest person I know. Okay. Ahora, estos serán de una sílaba. Cold y nice. Ahora, si son de dos o más sílabas. Ok. Por ejemplo, boring, ese es de dos sílabas, boring. Y luego tenemos expensive, es de tres sílabas, expensive. En ese caso, no le vamos a agregar EST, sino que vamos a poner el artículo de, luego la palabra most y el adjetivo tal cual. Aquí tenemos el primer ejemplo con boring, quedaría the most boring. It's the most boring movie at the cinema. Now we have expensive. It's three syllables. So we got, we add the most, the most expensive. We ate at the most expensive restaurant in town. Ahora van las excepciones con los adjetivos que tienen dos sílabas y terminan en Y. Si el adjetivo tiene dos sílabas, termina en Y, cambiamos la Y por I latina y agregamos el el artículo T y luego EST. Por ejemplo, tenemos early. Early son dos sílabas. Early termina early. en Y. Entonces agregamos el artículo T y cambiamos la Y por I latina y agregamos EST. The earliest. He the was earliest. the earliest person to arrive. Lo mismo, acá tenemos right. happy. Happy. So it's happy. two syllables. Ha right? So with two syllables, it's the same thing. Vamos a agregar eh, the. Y tenemos igual, ¿verdad? Termina en Y. Cambiamos la Y por I latina y agregamos EST. The happiest. It was the happiest time of my life. ¿Cuándo vamos a duplicar la última consonante? La última consonante la vamos a duplicar si este adjetivo eh, tiene ese patrón de una vocal eh, eh, consonante. Y, eh, por ejemplo, tenemos aquí big y hot. Big, hot. So we have, agregamos el de agregamos la doble consonante, que sería la última consonante, la que se duplica. En el caso de big, la última consonante es la G. Entonces agregamos otra G y EST, the biggest. Russia is the biggest country in the world. Hot, the hottest. August is usually the hottest summer in the month. Y por acá tenemos una nota para recordar que también hay adjetivos eh, irregulares. ¿Qué quiere decir irregulares? Que no entran en ninguna de estas categorías, ¿verdad? En ninguna regla. No hay una regla específica para decir cómo se forman. So, por ejemplo, tenemos good. El adjetivo good es irregular. Para ser superlativo se hace the best. Cambia totalmente escritura. Bad. Superlative, the worst. 
far, it can be the furthest or the furthest. Cualquiera de los dos no cambia el significado. So you can use either or. So for good, remember changes to the best. Example, she's the best student in our class. Bad, remember changes to the worst. It was the worst turn in many years. Far, the farthest or the farthest. He lives farthest from my home or he lives the farthest of my home. Questions so far? Are we clear with this? Teacher, I have a question mm -hmm. about far. Why is the, what is the difference of farthest and farthest? There is no difference. Oh. You can use either or, cualquiera de las dos puede usarla, no hay ninguna diferencia. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Question. Mm -hmm. Sí, Juan. Is my morning. Si no se le pone el adjetivo, diría de otra manera. ¿Cómo? Si no le comprendo, ¿cómo? Vale, digamos, si le, se le, no se le puede quitar tampoco consonante. ¿o? No, no. So, aquí están las reglas que debemos de seguir. Uh -huh. No se quitan consonantes. Yes, yes. El único caso es la Y, pero esta se cambia a Y latina y se agrega EST. Ese es el único caso en el que, bueno, removemos y sustituimos por otro. Any other question? Okay, now uh, by looking at this chart, practice, <laughs> yes, it's practice. Entonces, eh, viendo aquí el cartelito, eh, aquí les puse el primera práctica. Son varias prácticas, les puse como tres prácticas. Eh, so, eso vamos a hacer ahorita. So, in this one, you have the adjective in parentheses, and you have to. Um, to complete the sentence using the superlative of that adjective. I, and we have tall. Um, and remember that we have to use the verb to be. Tenemos que utilizar siempre una forma del verbo to be, porque estamos diciendo es o está, ¿verdad? Uh, for, for example here, I, and it's a tall person in my family. Estaría diciendo yo soy la persona más alta en mi familia. I am the tallest person in my family. So remember, you got to use the verb be and then uh, you have to form the superlative. That's what you're going to do. And of course, to make it uh, more participative, we're going to make it in groups. How many groups we have four? Okay, let's complete the sentences.
Were you able to finish? No finish. No, teacher. no, no. Three. In the number Three. 11. In 11. Okay. Yes. I can give you more time, of course. So I'm going to recreate the rooms. Let's see. Um, five more minutes. Would that be okay? Oops. Okay, teacher. Okay.
Okay, let us check what you have. You can write in the chat. Let's see. Okay, number two, write the answers in the chat, in the meeting chat. Who be there? Is the biggest. Very good, Naomi, with double G. EST, thank you so much, Andrea. That is correct. Thank you. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Uh, elephants, number three. Elephants. Are the largest, uh -huh. teníamos, ok, muy bien, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, María Angélica, Moisés, are the largest, ok, uh -huh. very good, elephants are the largest animals on earth, uh, number four, the most expensive, yes, María Noemí, the most expensive, Andrea, it's correct, Judy, it's excellent. The most expensive, we bought the most expensive TV in the store. Number five, let's write the answer for number five, which is for do you think are, are the most dangerous, okay? are the most dangerous. Siempre le iban agregando el verbo be, ¿verdad? Um, is or are, are the most dangerous. Are the most dangerous. Thank you so much. Number six, my cat. Y el verbo to be? My cat is the laziest. Good job with the spelling, Andrea, Juan Ricardo, Noemi, Maria Angelica. Great, Judy. It's the laziest. Good job. Let's check the number seven. This restaurant serves. The best. Uh-huh. Excellent. The best food in town. Okay. And number eight. I think Matt. I think math is the most difficult. Excellent, Andrea, Juan Ricardo, nice job. Uh, math is the most difficult subject. What long is this word? What is the longest? Excellent, Juan Ricardo, no me. Aha, uh -huh. Judy, excellent job. Andrea, it's also okay, correct. Longest, longest, sin duplicar, vea, y no íbamos a duplicar, long, porque hay dos consonantes juntas, entonces ahí no se duplica si hay dos consonantes o dos bucales juntas, so thank you so much, uh, let's see, strange, mm, strange, 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 ajá, uh -huh. es una sílaba, es strange. the strange. strange, very good, Judy, Andrea, good job. Let's see, it's the strangest, and number 11, let's write the answers. The last week I had, ahí no vamos a necesitar el verbo be, ¿verdad? The worst, excellent, the worst. Muy bien, very good, thank you so much. The worst time of my life. Which place, which place is the hottest? W.T. Noemi, Andrea, excellent. Judy, excellent work. 
uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga is a hot, excellent work. So um, let's see number 13. I think it, It's the funniest. Ajá, uh -huh. cambiaron ahí. Excelente trabajo, Judy, Andrea, Noemi, Juan Ricardo. Excellent job, excellent. Um, 14, my friend. Is the most interesting person I know. Is the most interesting person I know. Excellent job, Belén, Juan Ricardo, excellent. Andrea, very good, Judy, thank you so much. And the last one, who um, is the most famous? Excellent, is the most famous. Excellent job. I see that it's a piece of cake for you. Now, um, before we continue, vamos a chequear asistencia antes que se nos olvide. Let's check. Okay. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Belén Batres. Present teacher. Thank you, Belén. Uh, Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you. And then me Guadalupe. Then me Guadalupe. Francisco no se podrá conectar hoy, dijo Helen Dioneni. Present teacher. Iris Joana. Present. José Arnoldo. Present. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Okay. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Kenia Cecilia. Marisela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Moises Alberto. Yeah, teacher. Noemí Albertina. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Hoy le toca uno a uno. Si se puede quedar un ratito después de la clase, estaría bien. Ok, gracias. Rubén de Jesús. Rubén de Jesús. Judy Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Susana. Mm, okay, so let's continue. Now uh, you did some writing. We practiced writing. So we are practiced now with the speaking. Remember that this is a way for us to uh, memorize some of these things and memorize maybe the structure or how to form this thing. So we're going to practice speaking, asking, and answering these questions um, in the groups. So first question, who is the friendliest person in our class? And so on. So tienen que hacer estas preguntas y dar una respuesta. Así como ven los uh, superlatives están como en negrito. Y esta es una forma también de ir memorizando que se nos vaya quedando. Eh, la estructura, los irregulares, por ejemplo, como incluso los regulares sin estar tanto estudiando la regla, ¿verdad? So, repetition is the best thing that you can do. So, uh, let us, let me create the groups. I'm going to make them a little bit 
bigger. Remember that you have to ask and answer these questions. So this is speaking. There is no need for you to write. There is no need for you to do so. So it's just speaking. You will take turns in the groups to ask and answer the questions. You will decide the dynamic. So let me go ahead and make the rooms. Okay. Okay, here we go. Me sacó el pichero.
Andreita, Andreita, no sé así. Ahí va a ser el encuentro de los alumnos. Cabal. Ok. Uh, the next one. Uh, where is the smallest planet in our solar system? The, sm the smaller is Mercury. Mercury. Right? Mercury. Yes. The Mercury okay. is the smaller planet. Next. Where can I find the most dangerous animal in the world? Most dangerous. <gasps> Supposedly is in um the worms. Um, <laughs> the worms the in my no, case. The most <laughs> the worms. The I don't like it, the worms. Ah <laughs> it's the most dangerous. For me, a uh, frog in in Brazil, in Amazon. Supposedly. Yes, me too. In Brazil. ¿Cuál animal dijeron que era? It's a frog. Mm. Eh, it's a, a, a stranger, a stranger frog. Eh, he have um, toxic in his skin and can kill you. I don't know if in 30 minutes, the, the poison. Mm. Bye. What, what is the most interesting thing you learned about recently? The most interesting thing. Que resentí. Interesting. No, the la most... última palabra. Ah, la cosa Porque más. Te... Ajá. La cosa más interesante que aprendiste es recientemente. Recientemente. Inglés. <risa> <risa> Vaya, how far away is the far, farthest thing in your universe? In our universe. How far are the farthest thing in our universe? ¿Cómo decirlo? Know. Pero es el hoyo negro que he encontrado en Saturno, creo yo. Para mí, ¿verdad? El agujero negro. Black hole. ¿Qué es fortes? Lejano. Far. Mm. It's ir uh, the irregular. Far, far, mm -hmm. far this. Lo anoté, pero no sabía qué significa. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, who is the funniest actor that you know about? Actor. It is Johnny Deep. <laughs> ah. Who? Johnny Deep. No, no, no. Está en el uh, Jim Carrey, maybe. Sí. Adam Sandler. Oh, yes, yes. Jim Carrey. Uh -huh. mm. What is the most... No sé cómo se dice eso. Me ayuda cómo se pronuncia eso. Valuable. Vele, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? What? I don't understand. ¿A dónde? La última. What is the How most? can I become the richest person in the world? Sí. No, no, no. no. The, the What did the most? La última, la última. Perdón, a mí se me hizo así zoom bien feo. How, what is the most bad? Ay, Dios. Ba, 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 valuable. Valuable. Ay, teacher. 
Valuable. Valuable. Again, teacher, please. Yes, it's correct. Valuable. Valuable. Okay. Valuable. Ajá, okay. es como, así como está, valuable. Solo el final okay. cambia, valuable. Valuable. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, what is the most valuable thing that you own? My family. You, my children. Uh, my family. Yes, my family is the It's more important thing. Okay. Teacher, I can hear you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was in mute. So yes, I have to um, to restart all the settings after a breakout room. So thank you so much. Well, I see that I heard some of you practicing and some others, I didn't hear anything. So I don't know why. But remember that this is the only chance that you have to practice with other people. Most of you, there are a couple maybe that have the chance to practice with other people, but most of you don't. So remember that this is a chance to practice and it is part of your learning process. If you don't practice it, there is no way. It's going to be really, really hard for you to, um, to dominate uh, all the skills in the new language to your learning. And in one group, I just heard that one, uh, one of the words was kind of difficult is the last question is valuable, value, value, like val valor, value, valuable, valuable, uh -huh. valuable. It is ball. valuable, valuable. And then everything was okay. So we will continue with this topic in, on Monday. Remember that there's just 10 lessons left and we're going to finish with the model. So uh, please complete the exercises in the exams from the platform. On Monday, we're going to review both superlatives and comparatives, and we're going to continue with the program. So thank you so much for joining. I hope that you have a wonderful thank weekend. You. See you on Monday. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Monday. Good evening, Monday. Very good. Monday. There's Gav. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Se descanse. Dios la bendiga, quiz. Thank you so much. God bless you, too.
Bye. Take care. See you on Monday. So it's your one on one, right? Ok, uh, ¿cómo se siente Margarita? ¿Cómo va? Gracias por quedarse. Sé que está cansadita, es viernes, solo unos minutitos para saber cómo se siente con las clases, eh, si hay algo que hay que mejorar, algo que usted quiera que practiquemos más, quiero saber. Fíjense que a mí siempre me, me ha, eh, como que sí me cuesta bastante la pronunciación. Entonces, eh, no sé si me ayuda con la pronunciación, eh, ale, yo voy a leer la conversación que está ahorita en el link que nos mandó en el, en el WhatsApp. Porque sí me cuesta pronunciarlo. Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa también porque casi no la escucho. A Menedemos sí lo escucho, trato de ayudarle. Eh, pero usted casi no la escucho. Me voy a tratar de meter en los rooms donde quede usted para ayudarle, pero sí tiene que intentarlo. Yo sé que a veces da pena porque sabemos que nos cuesta, pero tiene que. Tiene okay. que hacerlo. Quítese la pena. Puede hacerlo. Mire, Menedemo ha mejorado, aunque sea poquito, pero, pero ha mejorado. O sea, sí. A ver, la de Laura. Sí. Gilbert y Laura. Ok, ya la tengo lista. Ok. Eh, Laura, how do you how do how you do, keep how do you keep the children? Vaya, esa palabra es bien difícil. Schedule. 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 Ajá. Hay gente que la relaciona con la marca de zapatos, con los sneakers. Schedule, no sé por qué, o los sketchers, o la ketchup. <ríe> schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Excelente. Schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Organized. Organized. My staff is always. Uh -huh. Complaining. Complaining. Uh -huh. I use. I use it. I use. I use an online. Se me apagó. Uh -huh. An online service. An online service. So, that, so, so that the staff. So that the staff can see. Can see. Can see their, their schedules. The schedule from their phones. From their phones. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a most efficient way. That sounds like the most efficient That way. sounds. Sophie, Jacqueline. That, that sounds Jacqueline. Like, like the like most. The most efficient. Efficient way. way. I bet. I bet it saves. Saves. Saves a lot of time. A lot of time. Yes. Yes. It is it, the best way. Yes. It is the best way to, to keep. keep Your staff, your staff organized, organized and on and, time. And on time. Okay, muy bien, Margarita. So, uh, puede también pedir ayuda. Yo sé que quizás la que tiene más uh, ventaja con pronunciación será Belén uh, y Melda. Hay varios compañeros que también tal vez uh, podrían 
eh, ayudar, pero usted tiene que quitarse la pena. Fíjese que a usted le cuesta menos porque con unas dos veces usted dice bien las cosas. Pero la cosa es que le da pena pedir ayuda porque la veo que no participa y no pide ayuda. Le cuesta pedir ayuda. Sí, o sea, la verdad que sí me cuesta bastante y me da un poco de pena porque a veces son, siempre tengo mucha bulla alrededor mío, entonces... Entonces, me cuesta bastante a veces escuchar y a la vez que me escuchen todo el ruido que tengo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero sí me cuesta un poquito, pero... Se comprende. No, 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 no se preocupe, o sea, porque usted tiene el cuidado de mantener en mute el teléfono y lo habilita solo cuando va a participar. Entonces, se vale, o sea, se comprende que si usted va a participar, pero de repente la mascota del vecino le agarró de ladrar o pasó la coster con una subuya, eso ya no depende de uno. Entonces, ni modo, ¿verdad? Y, y yo creo que la mayoría comprendemos eso. Ya cuando a veces estoy en la clase y se habilitan micrófonos y hay ruido, a veces me ponen a escribir, teacher, silencio, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Pero usted tiene ese cuidado. He visto que sí mantiene el, el, el micrófono en mute, pero tiene que participar y, y con la pena, ¿verdad? Y usted puede decir, disculpen compañeros, tengo ruido acá, pero sí necesito practicar. Y ya, tranquila, pero sí tiene que hacerlo. Porque yo sé que usted puede. Me he dado cuenta que usted con dos veces que uno le corrija la pronunciación, ya lo hace bien. También puede escribir cómo escucha que la palabra suena. Para que no se le olvide, por ejemplo, esta palabra schedule, así escriba, así como sonó schedule, así como yo escucho. Eh, si digo tiempo, que sabemos que se escribe time, pero lo pronunciamos time, escríbalo tal cual time, suena así time. Eso le va a ayudar bastante. Y luego repase, aunque sea unas dos, tres veces después de la clase, póngase a repasar con las notitas y, y todo lo que ha hecho. Eso le va a ayudar. Pero yo sé que puede, Margarita. Solo Gracias. tiene que quitarse la pena. Pero a usted no le cuesta tanto como a otros. Sí, yo siento que sí, pero vamos a hacer el intento. <ríe> a veces corrijo hasta tres veces a otro y sigue así como que hay. <ríe> pero por eso le digo, cada quien tiene sus... Eh, eh, Menedemo entiende. Él hace bien los ejercicios, y, pero también le cuesta. Pero ahí está y va mejorando de a poquito. Y así muchos. Vaya, por ejemplo, hay otros que tienen muy buena pronunciación pero la gramática no anda muy bien, eh, mezclan tiempos incorrecto y, y cosas así. Por eso le digo, hay gente que es muy buena en pronunciación, pero en gramática les cuesta. Hay gente que entiende la gramática y todo, pero la pronunciación no, no es buena. Hay gente que es buena en pronunciación y en escribir, pero le cuesta demasiado el listening, la bloquea. Por eso le digo, cada quien tiene sus diferencias. Usted, Margarita, es diferente a los demás. Usted tal vez es buena en la escritura, quizás es buena porque entiende todo lo que se está diciendo, pero su debilidad es la, la pronunciación. Y no le digamos debilidad, ahora se les dice área de mejora. Entonces ya sé que tengo que mejorar eso. ¿Cuál es el primer paso? Que no le tiene que dar pena. Pida ayuda. Siempre hay gente muy linda, siempre hay compañeros dispuestos a ayudar. No piense que le van a rechazar. Y si así es, bueno, mande un mensajito para que yo me meta al room donde usted está. Y voy a estar yo en los, en los grupos siempre pido ayuda cuando, porque si yo sé que no lo puedo pronunciar, ¿verdad? Entonces les pido que me ayuden. Si yo me confundo con una pronunciación. Ellos siempre son, como usted dice, son lindos y me ayudan. Sí, usted le puede decir, va, decirlo tú primero y yo, yo lo digo después. Decirlo otra vez, no tenga pena si para eso están eh, estas sesiones, pero sí tiene que aprovechar y, y, y yo voy a estar más pendiente de usted, Margarita, le prometo. Okay, y que no le dé pena. Gracias, gracias Tichel. Ok, Margarita, ¿algo más? Solamente, Tiché. Bueno, está bien. Entonces le deseo un muy feliz fin de semana y la veo el lunes. Gracias, igual. Buenas Take noches. Care. Good night.